everybody welcome back to my youtube channel for another video if you're brand new here i'm brooke and if you're not brand new thank you for coming back to listen to me talk again about astrology <laughs> so happy cancer season guys i'm filming this on the first day of cancer season i'm really excited and it's not cancer the first day of cancer season when i'm posting it but happy cancer season anyways i'm really excited for this video because i myself am a cancer son a lot of you guys ask me in my comments what my sign is um a lot of you guys guess wrong but i'm a cancer son with a moon in pisces and my ascendant is a virgo so today i'm going to be talking to you guys about five things you should know about dating a cancer sun now i always put this in the beginning of all of my videos that have to do with astrology but the goal of this is not to ever generalize a sign if there's ever a time in one of these videos where you feel like something i say doesn't resonate with you just understand that i'm fully aware that that might happen because everyone has a natal chart and you've got planets and you've got houses and you have got different aspects and you have got different signs in your chart so if you don't agree with everything that i'm saying in this video it's fine maybe it doesn't apply to you i'm just having fun so first of all, let me just get out of the way that um, I'm not gonna talk about the stereotype where everyone says that cancers are clingy, insecure, crybabies because we don't do that here. We don't subscribe to stereotypical norms in this series, okay? We don't like that. Maybe I'm biased because it is my sign, but I don't like that. I don't like that at all. So we're gonna talk about things that I feel might circle back a little bit to that belief these things might be the reason why cancers tend to come off as like these clingy over like overbearing types of people please remember that there are undeveloped and developed aspects to every single sign in the entire zodiac so don't write off all cancers just because you've met a couple that were clingy crybabies okay so without further ado let's go ahead and get into five things you need to know about dating a cancer son from a cancer son herself. The first thing you should know about dating cancer son is that they crave love and security. Cancers are not the ones you go to for a hookup. They're really easily tempted by relationships. They love stability. They want to feel intimately connected with whoever they're with and that's why hookups don't mesh with their personalities typically because you don't really get you don't go that deep. It's not a deep dive into a hookup, you know? They want to love really hard and they want to be really, really loved in return in a relationship. They typically enjoy long-term serious relationships because of that aspect of their personality. So don't try to get with one if you're just looking for a hookup or a summer fling because they're gonna get attached to you and don't you just don't you don't need to be breaking a cancer's heart you really want that on your conscience when you die i don't think so the second thing you should know about dating a cancer son is that it can be really hard to get a read on these people um we're very secretive we're very protective of our own personal lives and our friends and our family and we don't offer up a lot of information about ourselves at first because we want to know that we can trust you with it before anything else happens cancer sign is the crap for a reason crabs have a very hard exterior shell when we feel threatened we snap we pinch cancers just want to make sure that they can trust you completely before they go letting you in to every personal private aspect of their lives as should anybody you should always be very protective of your energy and who you're letting into your personal circle i think that cancers crave intimacy so much because if they feel like they are super intimate with you that like they give themselves permission to trust you they want to get to trust you as soon as possible it's like a little cycle like the faster i can be feel super close with them be intimate with them learn about them the quicker i can trust them with my secrets and my fears and all that stuff the third thing to know about dating a cancer is we tend to put people on a pedestal which is not a good trait to have. Cancers tend to do the absolute most for people who would not do jack shit for them if they were put in the same scenario. Typically, cancers will give you multiple chances to prove yourself and that honestly results in a lot of unhealthy, toxic, bad situations for everybody all around because as soon as someone does you wrong, in my personal opinion, if someone cheated on me, they'd be gone, period. You don't get a second chance, do not, Pasco, do not collect a hun another kiss from me, do not collect a hundred dollars, not shit. You're not getting anything from me. 
However, that doesn't go for all cancers and I have met plenty of cancers in my life who do let themselves get totally walked on. I struggle with this in friendships with telling people no and setting boundaries and it's something that I've really had a hard time with the past couple years and I'm just now kind of coming into myself and learning what it means to take control of that aspect of my life and to be able to say no. If you're trying to date a Cancer, don't take advantage of the fact that you know they probably think the world of you. Instead, prove to them that you deserve to be on that pedestal. Prove to them that you deserve for them to think these kind things about you. Don't ever take advantage of a Cancer in the aspect that you're like, oh, they like me, I can do anything and get away with it. You can't because eventually they will pop off and they'll snap at you with their little crab claws and hold a grudge probably for the rest of their lives. I can vouch for that. The fourth thing to know about dating a Cancer Sun is that we are really, really nostalgic. We hold on to memories like it is our lifeblood. Memories are everything to Cancers. A Cancer will remember the first time they saw their significant other, like what date it was. A Cancer will remember the shirt they were wearing the first time that they kissed their significant other. A Cancer will remember the song that was playing when they like lost their virginity. Like a Cancer remembers everything. I can vouch for this. I have kept so many things over the years that honestly serves me no purpose now, but I have way too many memories attached to it and it's like a really bad habit and I just need to like throw all that stuff out because it's just taking up space in my closet. A Cancer will hold on to old t-shirts and old movie ticket stubs and old CDs even though who listens to CDs anymore. Cancers will hold on to everything. They love to be nostalgic and sometimes you really as a Cancer like sometimes I just be getting way too deep in the memories and I end up hurting my own feelings and like catapulting myself backwards in time to when I was in a specific situation and like feeling all of those bad emotions again. I don't know why I do that to myself. It's very like self-sabotaging. And this can be really bad for Cancers because again, holding people on pedestals, you tend to romanticize situations for something other than what they were often and that's not okay. That's not good. So Cancers, we gotta stop doing that. We gotta stop. The fifth thing to know about dating a Cancer, the fifth thing in, the, in this series, it's always how you can attract one. If you want to date a Cancer son, offer them a lot of reassurance. Like I said before, Cancer craves stability and healthy routine in relationships. They wanna know that you're choosing them over and over every day and nobody else. If you can't find it in yourself to do that kind of stuff for them, um, then a Cancer is probably not the best sign for you to date because it's just kind of how we are. We're not asking for you to go out and buy us roses every day or take us out to dinner four times a week. Just like simple things, just like how was your day or sending them a text to check up on them or saying like, I saw this and it made me think of you. Small things like that help a Cancer feel extremely secure and stable in their relationship. A Cancer will easily pick up on hints this way and know that you are interested in them. But just be ready. If you snag a Cancer, you lucky dog, just know that you're gonna have to be ready for a whole lot of love because that's what we bring to the table. That's like all we've got. So the best way to keep a Cancer in a long-term relationship and make sure that they're really happy is like never stop dating us. Um, kind of cliche to say, but a lot of elderly couples say that that's how they have lasted like 80 years together is because they never stop dating their husband or wife or their boyfriend or girlfriend, whatever. Never stop trying to make them laugh. Never stop trying to do nice things for them because I guarantee you Cancer's biggest redeeming quality and trait is that we're always trying to make the people that we love feel special. So there's no, there's no like doubt in my heart that if you want to keep a cancer, the best way to do that, the best way to keep a cancer is to do stuff like that because they're probably already doing it for you. I know I'm always trying to figure out some way that I can be helpful. Whether it's, you know, doing an extra load of dishes for my fiance when he doesn't feel good or cleaning up his side of the bedroom, you know, when like he forgets, doing like small things like that to let him know like I've got you and I'm here for you and I love you. It means a lot. Cancer is truly the most loving and affectionate sign out of the entire zodiac. And I'm not just saying that because it is my sign. I'm saying that because 
it's the truth. And I don't always embody the qualities of a Cancer. I feel like a lot of times I relate more so with the traits of my rising sign, which is a Virgo, um, which is ironic because my chart is like 90% water. So, and Virgo is not a water sign, it's an earth sign. Yeah, if you, if you end up with a Cancer, you're a lucky person. That's not to say that, you know, you won't have your moments where sometimes their emotions don't feel like a lot for you to take on, but that's with any sign. Some people have a lot of water in their chart and they can be extremely emotional to the point of it just being too much. I don't know about y'all, but I love being a Cancer. I love being a Cancer. My birthday is July 16th and everything great in my life happens in cancer season so i'm in a pretty good mood <laughs> i'm in a pretty good mood right now thank you guys for watching this video please comment down below and let me know if you have cancer in your chart if you're a cancer if you're dating one if you want to date one and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up down below and subscribe so that you can keep watching my freaking videos a new podcast episode also just went up on the Witchful Thinking Podcast. All of that information will be linked down below in the description box. I love you guys so incredibly much. Thank you so much for 5,300 subscribers. You're amazing. You make me feel so special and so loved, like the cancer that I am. I will talk to you guys in the next video.